Hi guys, so a uh, different video today. I was going to do my TCA 25% uh, peel, or TCA peel, 25%, and <clears throat> I figured I'm going to film it because there's so many, um, I guess, non-informative videos out there. There's more and more now, but <clears throat> pardon me. I don't see very many out there, so, excuse me. Um, so I thought I would do one of my own. So the first step, I'm, I'm going to write everything or add everything in the description that I think you would need, and disclaimer, I'm not a physician, I'm not a dermatologist, this is my way. <laughs> don't do as I do, don't do as I say. <clears throat> go to a dermatologist um, uh, get their advice first for sure this is just what I'm doing so that's my disclaimer um, I've never done a TCA peel before I've done uh, glycolic peels and they've worked quite well for me a couple of them so I can't remember what percentage I used but um, I like them so what I'm going to do first gauze pad and I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol clean sterile gauze pad and go over my skin and really dry it out not like it needs any help to dry out because I have very dry skin so that is step one my face should be quite clean um, to wash my face I used um, yeah, looks pretty clean. Nothing on there. To wash my face, I used, um, CeraVe. CeraVe Moisturizing Lotion. <clears throat> or Hydrating Cleanser, sorry. That's what I use to wash my face every day, morning, night. So that's that. Um, <clears throat> if I'm out of breath, sorry. I've got allergies galore. So this is the peel. I haven't used it yet other than doing a spot down here to do, um, I guess, an allergy test. And what I'm going to do is, I don't know if this is going to be, um, let me go get a glove. I'll be right back. Okay, so got my glove. Um, first off, let me tell you what you're going to need ahead of time. You're going to need some baking soda, um, your gauze pads, your Aquaphor ointment, or um, I can't remember what it's called, hmm. your, of course, TCA acid. I got mine from Skin Obsession. That's where I got my glycolic acid as well. It's very good. Um, for after, of course, the treatment for after the peel you're going to need SPF for sure you're going to need at least one glove you're going to need um, your rubbing alcohol to completely dry out your face and you're going to need baking soda and a little container of water the water I put in here a little Dixie cup the baking soda I put in my bleach um, hair color thing pot and I've got some major moisturizer here and I think that's it I've got a wet towel right here I've got an actual towel right back here so and then if I have to stop the camera and go wash my face I'll go do that oh and I've also got a blow dryer for cold setting to blow dry my face. You're going to be leaving this on for, I believe, three to five minutes. It comes with your instructions. And I'm going to read them. Um, you know, I've already read them, but I'm going to do it again. Alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Apply peel solution in a single coat to your skin with a gauze pad or paper towel folded into quarters. 
Mm -hmm. Least more product applies, blah, blah, blah. Uh, leaving a few millimeters between the rim of the eye and the pleal solution. So you don't want to go right up to under the eye here. If you want to go here, apparently that's fine. And I will. I'll be going right here, even though my under eye is pretty sensitive. Um, <clears throat> we're, what we're looking for, um, it says your skin may turn a chalky white color, which is called frosting. This is normal and indicates that the peel has gone far enough. If after five minutes you don't see any frosting, please continue to step B. Apply a second layer is step B. So, um, if after five minutes you do not see any frosting, please continue to step B. If your skin has turned chalky, gray, or white, you begin rinsing your face with cool water to neutralize the peel, or you'll mix your water and baking soda and use your fingertips and just literally pat it all over your face. That'll instantly neutralize it and it'll start, it'll stop stinging. Um, <clears throat> splash face repeatedly for two minutes. The gray-white frosting will fade shortly after the peel is neutralized. If you have not frosted after the first layer, proceed to step B. So let's see what happens. And hopefully we don't have to go to step B. <laughs> okay, let's do it. <clears throat> Where's my glove? Okay, so I'm going to put the acid in this double cup. Hopefully, hopefully it doesn't eat through the double cup. Get your glove on, Lana. Let's actually open up this gauze pad. Regular gauze pad like that. <clears throat> We're going to use that for the whole face. You want to make sure that it doesn't drip everywhere because this is acid. You want to put it on the glove on the hand that you're going to be using to uh, spread that acid. So I didn't put a ton, but I put enough. Okay. I put the lid on that so just in case it spills. Oh, the light is terrible. Okay, I put the acid in my cup. There goes the little gauze pad. Soaked it thoroughly right through. Okay, let's go. Soaked. Whoa. Uh-oh, okay. So let's wring it out a little bit. This is supposed to start stinging uh, quite quickly. I'll let you know when. Staying away from my lips. Starting to sting on the forehead. I'm not doing above my lips. I think that's good. Now when I did my <clears throat> my uh, test spot, it uh, It itched like the third day. Oh my god, did it ever. So I'm just going to go over it because, whoops, it's kind of wet. You don't want that, I think. I want a lot on my forehead because I'm noticing, ooh, that, that really stings. Ouch. It's like that, uh, if you ever had a tattoo, that feeling. Ow. Okay, so let's try and frost. Okay, let's wait. And then I'm going to put the blow dryer on when I can't handle it anymore. Ooh, okay. Um, I don't have a timer, so I'm going to look at my... Oh my god, that's really hot. Um... So I'm going to turn you off and come back because I'm going to stick a timer on. I don't think I'm going to need a second coat. 
freaking hurts. Okay, I'm gonna put the cool on. Really hot. Too much, way too much. I'm gonna see about neutralizing it. I've got my mixture. Yeah, this is like, it's really frosted. Oh my God. What the hell? How do people do this? Those are very painful. What the heck? To me, it just feels still really, really hot. What did I go, like a minute and a half? <laughs> That's okay. Less is more. Less is more. I frosted it huge. Okay, so. Better to be safe. Better to be safe than sorry. That's what I was trying to say. So. Ow, ow, friggin' ow. It's like you don't want to stop. <laughs> so, this definitely neutralized it. this away from my eyes. Can you see? Look at the frosting. Unbelievable. I feel like I've I feel like I've done something horrible to myself. <clears throat> Have I? I feel like I've totally done something horrible. I'm sure some of this is the baking soda. Wow. Yuck. My God. Seriously. <clears throat> I'm sure I'll close up. This is the frosting. So, I lasted a minute and a half. I'm not into, um, uh, give myself third degree burn. So, yeah, I took that off. I think I got my ear. It hurts right here. 
So this is supposed to go away the white and it's supposed to go like a pink red. So I'm going to go wash this off with a lot of cold water <clears throat> and I'll come back.